When starting up your DVR, this is the first screen you will see. The screen will then go black and then start loading up the cameras. You will then see a password screen. If this is the first time you are using the DVR, there is no password and you will have to program one in. The first thing you will want to do is start adjusting your DVR settings. This is what the DVR's main menu looks like. There are six sections to this menu. System settings, device settings, record settings, network settings, backup, and quick setup. The system info menu is a quick way to reference information and make small changes to your DVR. Under the user tab in the system settings menu is where you would assign usernames and passwords if you want multiple people to be able to see footage. However, they will not have administrative rights to change settings. The export import menu allows users to copy and paste their system preferences through USB thumb drives. The HDD tab is where you go to format the hard drive, as well as other tasks. The default tab is where you would go if you wanted to restore your DVR to its factory settings. The device setup menu is where you will be adjusting foreign devices you will definitely be connecting and other parts you might possibly use. A camera is a given definite that you will be connecting. Microphones, magnetic sensors, motion detectors, external alarms, and even settings for pan tilt and zoom cameras are all adjusted here. The record menu is where you set your recording settings and scheduling options. Each camera can be set at a different resolution size or frame per second and quality. This is where you schedule how you want the DVR to record, weekdays, hours, and even holidays. Your network settings menu is where you will go if you want your DVR to broadcast over the internet. Digital Watchdog makes it easy for you to set this up. When you have DHCP selected as your network type, click on IP Detect, and then your DVR will fill in all the information for you. You need no IT experience to use this unit. Another thing worth mentioning are the apps. They are 100% free of charge and you can download them through the Digital Watchdog website. If you are using the iPhone or iPad, you can download the apps for those through the App Store on iTunes. There are apps available for free with the VMAX units for Android, Blackberry, iPhones, and iPads. The backup menu is where you go if you want to back up your footage to a USB device or even to a DVD. The DVD burner has to be plug and play compatible and just connect through a USB wire. And here is some footage we shot with this DVR. Few DVRs offer as many options as the VMAX series DVRs from Digital Watchdog. Free apps, Mac and PC compatibility, the ability to connect external DVD burners, but also when you buy a VMAX 4, 8, or 16 channel unit, there is a 5 year limited manufacturer's warranty at no additional cost. Thank you for watching. For more information on products from Digital Watchdog, you can visit our website at www.surveillance-video.com or you can call us at 1-800-955-5201.